Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how I use the Dyson Airwrap to achieve this big bouncy blow dry and how to make it last. A very important step of using the Dyson Airwrap and getting it to last is the hair prep. So firstly, start with a good shampoo and conditioner. I will link the ones that I use in the description box. But then you also wanna use some sort of blow dry cream, preferably something that also has heat defense in it. A couple of my favorite products are these Kerastase ones. This is the one that I'm gonna to use today. Not only does this one have heat defense in it, but it's also gonna help give our hair some grip, which means the blow dry is gonna last so much longer. Another product I love from Kerastase is their Elixir. This is a hair oil, which also has heat defense in it. However, sometimes I do feel like this can just make my hair a little bit too silky. So when I'm doing a blow dry, I like my hair to have a little bit of grip. And you may find that if you have very, very soft, silky, shiny hair, that a lot of hairstyles tend to drop out quite easily. Essentially, that's just because your hair is so, so healthy. I do get my hair colored. My hair is also quite thick and quite coarse, so I feel like it holds styles really well. So I do feel like a lot of results is just gonna depend on your hair type. But anyway, I'm gonna show you how I style my hair using the Dyson Airwrap. First, let's do prep. Not too much product because we don't wanna weigh our hair down. The amount of product you use will of course also depend on how much hair you have. I like to section off my fringe because I blow dry this in a total different way. I really want this front section to frame my face. So we're gonna leave that there and do that last. Using the drying attachment, I'm gonna quickly Dry my hair off a little bit, particularly focusing on the roots because we want our roots to be super, super dry. Otherwise, it's gonna go frizzy and you're not gonna get that super sleek look. I'm particularly focusing on these bits here that frame my face because they tend to go the curliest and it's really hard to get it out with the air wrap. So you wanna ensure you focus on that when you're drying it. Rough dry is done, so it's still a little bit damp, but it's gonna be much easier to work with now. I have one of the original Dyson Air Wraps, so I have four barrels. This is the difference between the thinner one and the slightly thicker one. I always use the thicker one just because I like that bigger, bouncier blow dry. The reason you have two is because they blow dry your hair in different directions. I do believe if you have the newer Dyson Air Wrap, you just have one attachment and you can actually change the direction of the airflow on the wand very nice for you if you have the new one. This is the OG one, so I do need to swap them halfway through. And I can never quite figure out which way is which, so I just have to turn it on and see, see how it goes. I always section my hair just because there's a lot of it and otherwise it gets in the way. I split it down the middle and then for each side I do about three layers. So I'll start with this bottom section clip the rest out the way. There's so many different ways that you can style your hair using the air wrap. I personally like to curl the hair under, so it's gonna go round like this, and we're gonna wrap it up. So every single curl is curling under, and I just find this gives me the most volume. You can also curl it like this, like you would a normal tong, and then let it out. That will give you a bit more of like an S-shaped curl but I just want that lovely, round, fluffy, blow dry look. For the settings, I have it on the fastest one and the hottest one. Once we've done the curl, I'm gonna press this button all the way up and it's gonna blast the curl with cold air to cool it down. Always start at the back, switch it on. I give it a hand by wrapping the hair around it first and then I just let the air pick the rest of the hair up and roll it upwards. Just give it a touch to see when it's dry. And then this button here, I lift all the way up and it's gonna blast it with cold air. And then I hold it just for a couple of seconds. You can clip the hair if you want. I find it just takes way too long. I think the beauty of this tool, it's meant to make styling your hair so much quicker. So when we start playing around with clips, it just, I find it just makes the whole process so so much longer. We go again with the next section. I'm gonna curl it in exactly the same way. So turn it on. Give the hair a little hand by wrapping the ends around the barrel and just let the hair bring itself up. Blasting it with cold air now. Turning it off. Pull the curl off so it still stays in its shape. Don't let it unravel. And then I kind of just let it rest on my shoulder to cool down. Do 
you see how much volume is in that section of hair because of the way that we blow dried it under? Throw that very gently to the back. I'm gonna section off the next piece of hair. So we're essentially styling it in layers. Have your bottom, middle and top section. And I'm just gonna do exactly the same thing to this layer. Let it sit on your shoulder. I'm gonna do the rest. Letting down the last section of hair. That is one side done for now. And this is where you change the barrel over to the other one and change hands. You can keep the other barrel on if you like and you can roll up using this hand, but I just feel like it's better to switch hands and switch heads so you get the same type of curl on this side. I'm gonna whisk through this side and then show you how we do the fringe. Okay, if you've made it this far, well done. I know I'm always relieved when I get to this point. For the fringe, we change to the barrel attachment. And we kind of just want to do a blow dry. So I'm going to use the brush to smooth the hair down like this. I'm going to wrap it and wrap it, let it go. And then I'm also going to do underneath and I'm going to go up. The aim of this is essentially to get the most volume that we can in the front fringe because we want the bangs to frame the face. We want them to come down like this. It's going to look beautiful, soft, fluffy. And then we can style it after with barrel attachment. Turning the heat down just slightly because it's the front piece of my hair and I don't want heat damage. And I'm also going to turn the speed down to the lowest speed. And then I'm going to turn the heat off. If you've got baby hairs, just tuck them back. Just let it cool slightly for a few seconds and then I'm gonna unravel it. Then find your part. I always like a center parting and your fringe should look something like this. I am gonna style this. You can leave it like this if you like, but I want it to blend in with the rest of the hair. Taking my barrel attachment again. This time, I'm gonna blow dry the hair away from my face. I just want a slight bend in it. I've switched the barrels over, so this one is now also going back. So this is what we're left with. I will now let this cool down for as long as I possibly can before brushing the curls out. I'll come back in five. Final little zhuzh, you can either use your fingers or if you've got a really wide tooth comb, you can use that. If you know your hair holds well, you could use one of these soft bristle brushes, which sometimes I do. Should we give it a go? Very, very gently. And that is how I use my Dyson Air Up. The curls will drop a little bit throughout the day, but I actually quite like that softer look. You kind of have to start the day with it maybe a little bit curlier than you'd like it to be. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you found this helpful and also subscribe if you haven't already. I do also upload vlogs. I try to do it weekly. And let me know if you wanna see some more hair tutorials. Bye guys.